was one thing that happened years ago when I first started here. And at the back of the room here, there was a, an old bar. So the bar was just there. This room wasn't really used as much. And I was in the kitchen through that door. And I think I was just cashing up. And I thought that I heard some noises coming through the door on this side. And it just sounded like the sound of like a, a magazine sort of flapping. Oh, sort okay. of like, like paper kind of like. And because I hadn't been here that long, I thought I'm not going to hang around and I don't <laughs> want to find out what's behind that door. So I just I, I kind of like left pretty quickly after that. But I've not heard anything since. I have just had the weirdest thing just happen to me. Go on. Just I get migraines sometimes, not very often. Yeah. And I forget the thing with the flashing in my eyes. Mm. That usually means it's going to be a really bad migraine. Okay. So that's why I was sort of doing that and looking around. Cause it was like that. Wasn't my camera doing that? Okay. No, no, no. no. Wasn't that, no? No, because I, 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 I wasn't looking. That's why I was doing that to see if it was. I was actually kissing a migraine. Okay. Do you feel okay? I feel okay. Yeah. Yes, complete start. I do feel like it's gone cooler. I feel like my back feels really tense. My legs have gone cold. I don't know, it's weird. It probably is me. But I'm sat next to a window, so I don't know if it's the draft in the window. What, my legs have gone cold. Do you feel any different, Greg, because you're sat next to me? Do you think it's gone cooler? I would agree, maybe, that it has gone a little bit cooler. Sorry? Sorry, I'm I, I would agree that it does feel like it maybe has gone a little bit if you're bringing the temperature down in this room, if it is you, if it's spirit doing this, can you make it cooler? No, like, people have said, that, is it, does it relate more to females or male or, or random? Or is it it's always, random, isn't it? is it? So it's particularly just men, it's yeah. usually men. So, I uh, know, just that, yeah, any, anybody really. Yeah. I mean, apart from John, um, <laughs> just a woman recently being sort of, Touched on the arm in the tap room. Uh, okay. For it to, to come to the bar and to mention yeah, it. Uh, yeah, it, it yeah. takes some takes some balls really, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just to come and mention it to be yeah, honest. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people don't say anything either, you know. Mm. They had their backs to the room and they were on the machine and you know the pub was open, it's like eight o'clock at night in the evening. And they didn't bother turning around. They heard someone come in and sit down and maybe wriggle about on the seat. And, you know, they just thought it was like another customer. And then when they did turn around, fully expected somebody to be there that wasn't. Okay. So they, they'd sort of come up to the bar and query them. You said to say something, something. Yeah, go on, Karen. I have this like weird feeling that there's something behind you. Behind you or yeah. behind the door? No, just here. Yeah. Just there. Because you are quite sensitive, aren't you? Karen? Mm -hmm. what, what what do you feel what are you feeling? Is it just a feeling or is it? I feel like someone stood there. Okay. There's someone listening to us. Okay. If you were stood next to Karen, can you touch her gently on her shoulder? Is that okay with me saying that? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah. Can you touch Karen on the shoulder if you were stood next to her? Knock on the door. Do you feel like it's a man or a female or? No, I don't know. Don't know. Can you close the door for us? Show yourself in light form next to Karen.
just say your name, Karen. Just say I am. Just introduce yourself. Just say my name is Karen. Hi, my name's Karen. I don't mean you any harm. Would you like to show show us what you can do? Make a noise. Can you make a noise for us in this in this part of the building? Oh, that's the fire. Was that the fire? Yeah. That's, see, I mean, that was right on cue, you see, wasn't it? Yeah, that's good. A lot of people have said that was a ghost. Uh -huh. It just shows how it can be right on cue, doesn't it? Yes, it Yeah. Because that was right on cue, wasn't it? <laughs> you think it was a fire? Was it definitely the fire? I think it was a, yeah. a piece of coal just cracking, yeah. Break it down. Yeah. Did you hear that? There was a big noise in the, in the bar area then. In the bar? Like a, I don't know what it would have, I can't explain, but it, was, it was a big noise. It, it can't have been the fire, 110%. Was it sounded like a glass or was it heavy thud or? Mm, God, I'm trying to, God, why can't I describe it? Like a clack kind of sound. Uh, yeah. Is that a normal sound? Uh, no. No, <laughs> I But not mean, like a, kind of like a clack. I wasn't sure if, if I'd heard it too, like now that you mention it. Well, just then, Greg, yeah. Well, just, yeah, um, about 40 seconds ago. I feel fine. Me too. Pardon? Me too. It's feeling normal, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. That's what that's what you are, like, that's what I've been getting in the last like six seven investigations, and it's happened to me in quite a few. Well, probably the last six places I've been, I've been getting this itchiness on my face. I had it in the castle. Uh -huh. And what they say, or people who are into spirit, they say they, they say to me it's either a spirit that is close to you, yeah, or it's your spirit guides that here to look after you. Okay. That's what they say. Believe what you want. It's slitching now. Have we still got it? No. Is it like on your cheek? Like a cobweb just pushing past you? Yeah, it was yeah. definitely on my cheek. I had to scratch it. Mm, it's strange. You know Greg, you work with him every day. He works in this pub. He stayed up, he's, the pub's closed, he stayed up to come and see you. Getting it again, mate. Just on the other side, but it could just be nothing. You sure? <laughs> he's got on the other side now, he's doing some scratching, mate. <laughs> Greg's stayed up tonight, the pub's shut, he stayed up to come and see you. Can you have the courtesy to come and see you, Greg? Can you touch him? Tap him on his shoulder. Yeah, Karen. Yeah, I was just going to say, maybe we're filming the cue cards. The right one. Do we open that door, Greg? It's locked. There's something in there. <laughs> Is it open? Yeah. Can you knock on the cubicle door? Knock on the door where Greg is. Let's give it a slight tap if you can. If you were a female, you haunt these toilets, can you please knock?
Is there any vagrants in this toilet? Anybody that used to get fed from this pub on the street? If you are with us now, can you give us a sign? Can you make your presence known? You're okay. You can call. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it just keeps coming and going. <coughs> Everybody's kidding. You want to call? Yeah. <laughs> it's contagious. If there's a person that got fed off the streets in this in this building now in this room, please come forward with respect. Can you just give us a sign that you were here? We're in your space and you don't want us here, then give us a sign and we will leave. If you can tap twice in this room for me now, we will leave, I promise. Our night at the Grade 2 listed pub in the Lake District, unfortunately on this particular night, did not deliver any paranormal activity whatsoever. After speaking to staff at the pub, we came to the conclusion that any of the spontaneous activity seemed to happen when the pub was working as normal. There have been lots of reports of people being touched, a sense of presence in the ladies' toilets, and reports of people going to the bar and asking if the pub was haunted, as they had had some kind of experience in the pub. It just goes to prove that we don't have to investigate at night to gain paranormal activity, and phenomena can be obtained in the day when the place is working as a normal day without having to try and entice any paranormal activity. I would like to thank those who granted us access into the pub and given us the chance to investigate this place. I'll be staying in close contact with Greg to any further developments in the future. I'll speak to you soon.